Hey guys, it's Megan, and just like the title of this video says, this is going to be a video about some famous families that have multiples. Um, I'm not going to talk about like twins and triplets in this video really because I plan on doing a video on some famous twins and um, famous people's twins later on because twins are kind of like a trendy thing. There are so many twins right now born to celebrities. So yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump on in. A lot of these families you will recognize from TV shows, especially on the Learning Channel, TLC, which could be called like the Multiple Family Channel because there are so many um, families that they've profiled that have multiples. The first family you might not recognize um, as a family of multiples, and they are the Dion family. The Dion family had um, the Dion quintuplets, which are pretty famous. And quintuplets, just in case you don't know, are five babies all born um, from the same pregnancy, um, you know, sequentially, just minutes apart. Um, and they were the first known quints to survive past infancy. And then beyond that, another kind of interesting thing is that they're all girls and they are pretty much identical. So quick warning, I had one semester of French nine, almost 10 years ago, goodness. Um, and so I did look up how to pronounce the names, but I'm just gonna do my best and sorry if I butchered them. So the parents are, um, the father is Oliva, Edouard. I'll put the names down here so you can see, and the mother is Elzir, and they actually had six children prior to having quintuplets, can you imagine? Only five of them um, survived past infancy though, so their names are Ernest, who was born in 1926, Rosemary, born in 1928, Therese, born in 1929, Leo, born in 1930, he unfortunately died shortly after birth, Danielle, born in 1932, and Pauline, born in 1933. So they're really just kind of all born almost a year apart from one another. Um, the, another interesting thing is Pauline was only 11 months older than her quintuplet sisters. So May 28, 1934, um, Elzir thought she was maybe pregnant with like twins, but surprise, surprise, had quintuplets. And their names, I'm going to put their full names down on the screen somewhere down in here. I'm only going to say their first names in the interest of time and pronunciation. Um, and so their names are Yvonne, Annette, Cecile, Emily, and Marie. And so the parents, it's actually a really sad story. They um, lost custody of the girls. They became wards of Canada just months after they were born. I think they were maybe four months old. Um, and they became a really significant tourist attraction on, in Ontario. And then a doctor that really closely monitored them. And, you know, I think that they had their best interests at heart, but it did become a little exploitative. And people would, like, come and watch them on their special, they had, like, a special play yard set up for them. And it was really, like, voyeuristic. Um, the family did eventually regain custody of their girls, um, and Cecile especially has been really vocal about like what happened to them and new laws and things are in place since 1934, obviously. Um, and the family went on to have three sons after them, and their names are Oliva Jr., born in 1936, Victor, born in 1938, and Cloud, born in 1946. So all together, I'm going to put all their names and say them just because I, um, well, it's a baby name channel primarily, and I think it's cool to see um, what siblings' names are and do they match, do the parents have a style, so I'm going to do that with all of these. So their children are Ernest, Rosemary, Therese, Leo, Danielle, Pauline, um, Yvonne, Annette, Cecile, Emily, Marie, Oliva, Victor and Cloud. That's a lot of babies. The next family you might recognize, they are the Jones family. They had a TV show called Quince by Surprise. And the parents are Ethan and Casey. Ethan and Casey struggled with infertility. Ethan had a very low sperm count, so they chose to use a donor sperm. And they had their first daughter, just a single child, named Elliot McKenna, born July 14, 2004. There's been so much debate lately. I get, I read on different sites about, is Elliot a boy's name? It's got to be a boy's name. No, I like it for a girl. So let me know what you think of um, the name Elliot and if you think of a boy or a girl. I think of the little kid from E.T., so that's a boy, but then I think of the girl from Scrubs. So, okay, I digress. Back to business. Um, 
they decided um, with the same sperm donor to just have one more child so their children are all biologically um, full siblings, same parents. Um, and so January 16th, 2009, they had quince by surprise, as goes with many of these families who had fertility treatment. And their names are Brooklyn Faith, Britton Grace, Jack William, who's the only boy in the bunch, Lila Addison, and Ryan Elizabeth. Ryan is a girl. And so altogether, the um, Jones children are Elliot, Brooklyn, Britton, Jack, Lila, and Ryan. This next family you might recognize, the Goslin family, and they are famous for their TLC show, John and Kate Plus Eight, and then I think Kate had a spinoff called Kate Plus Eight or something. And so the parents are John and Kate. Their full names are Jonathan, and she's actually Katie by birth, but she prefers Kate. And they had twins born October 8th in 2000, and their names are Kara Nicole and Madeline Kate, although Madeline goes by the nickname Maddie. Um, and then they decided for one more and ended up with six tablets. So that's six babies born once. And uh, they were born May 10th, 2004. So they're nine now. Can you believe that? I remember when they were in diapers. I totally watched the show all the time. And their six tablets names are Alexis Faith, Hannah Joy, Aiden Jonathan, Colin Thomas, Leah Hope, and Joel Kevin. So all together, the Goslin children's names are Kara, Maddie, Alexis, Hannah, Aiden, Colin, Leah, and Joel. The next family is the McGee family, and they are famous because they have a reality TV show on the OWN ne Network, which is Oprah's channel, and I believe they show um, reruns of this on the TLC channel, and the show is called Six Little McGees, which I think is a really cute name, actually, and uh, their par the parents' names are Mia and Rosano, and they had six tablets born June 9, 2010, and their names are... Rosano Jr., who goes by the nickname Roro, uh, Josiah, who goes by Joey or Jojo, Madison, Olivia, Isaac, and Elijah, who they often call Eli. They like biblical boy names, huh? The next family is the Mache family, and they had a TV show as well called Raising Six Tuplets, and the parents are Jenny and Brian. They have since divorced, but their six tuplets were born June 11, 2007, and their names are Savannah Jane, Bailey Elizabeth, Grant William, Cole Robert, Molly Grace, and Blake Nicholas. Um, Jenny has since remarried a man named Levi McClendon, who had two children from a previous relationship, and they're like, you know what, let's have another, let's have a baby together. So this past January, they had a child together, and his name is Cash Allen. So potentially, Jenny could have nine children at once in her home. Can you imagine? Um, so her um, children all together are Savannah, Bailey, Grant, Cole, Molly, Blake, and Cash. Next up is the Hayes family, and they had a show on the TLC network, surprise, surprise, and it was called Table for Twelve. Parents are Eric John and Elizabeth, who goes by the nickname Betty, and they had two sets of twins, followed by a set of six tuplets. So the first set of twins were born May 3rd, 1996, and their names are Kevin and Kyle. Then their second set of twins were born um, September 23rd, 1998, and their names are Kieran and Megan. Uh, Megan not spelled the right way, I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. My name is spelled bizarre for Megan, it's M-E-A-G-A-N. My parents, I don't know, I like it, it fits me. Okay, I digress. And then, they had six tuplets, six babies, born September 14th, 2004, and their names are Tara Rose, Rachel Ann, Rebecca Mary, Ryan Peter, Connor James, love this name, Eric John Jr., who goes by EJ. So altogether, the um, Hayes family children's names are Kevin, Kyle, Kieran, Megan, Tara, Rachel, Rebecca, Ryan, Connor, and Eric. That's a lot of K's and R's, huh? Yeah. Next up is the McCoy family, and they, um, the parents are Kenny and Bobby. They have one child, a single daughter, um, Michaela Marie, who was born in January 1996. Then they had the world's first set of 
um, septuplets, which is seven babies born in from one pregnancy. They're the first set to um, survive past infancy on record, and their names are um, Kenneth Robert Jr., who goes by the nickname Kenny, Alexis May, Natalie Sue, Kelsey Ann, Nathan Roy, Brandon James, and Joel Stevens. So all together, the McCoy kids are Michaela, Kenny, Alexis, Natalie, Kelsey, Nathan, Brandon, and Joel. And then one more family, sorry this video is getting long, is um, they have octuplets in this family, if you can guess what that is. Think Octomom. Yeah, she's kind of a very scrutinized celebrity, I suppose. Paris celebrity? I don't know. She's famous. So it's the Solomon um, or Suleiman family. I believe the last name of the children is Solomon, though, not Suleiman. The mother is Nadia Suleiman. Her um, birth name was Natalie. And I don't have the, all the exact birth dates, but her first child was born on in 2001, and his name is Elijah McKay. Mackay, excuse me, Elijah Mackay. Then in 2002, she had a daughter, Amira Yasmin. Then, I don't know the exact date, she had Joshua Jacob, followed by another son, Aiden. Then she had twins, Kalisa Ariel and Caleb Kai. Then she had octuplets, that's eight babies born in one pregnancy. And they all share the same middle name, which is Angel, and their names are, take a breath, Noah, Malia, oh, Noah Angel, Malia Angel, Isaiah Angel, Nariah Angel, Jonah Angel, Makai Angel, who is a boy, Josiah Angel, and Jeremiah Angel. So all the Solomon, Suleiman or Solomon, I'm not quite sure, children's names are Elijah, Amira, Joshua, Aiden, Kalisa, Caleb, Noah, Malia, Isaiah, Nariah, Jonah, Makai, Josiah, and Jeremiah. My goodness, is that a mouthful. So I'd love to hear what names you love from this. Um, also, if you, I always like had these little fantasies, like if I had quince, what would I name them? Even though um, now that like children are more on my horizon, I totally don't want to have that many babies at once. It's just too overwhelming. But I do think it'd be fun to think of like what I would name them. So if you had multiples, I'd love to hear what you'd name them. Or if you know, like a lot of people know families that have multiples, like in real life, if you know a cool sibling set of multiples that have really neat names, um, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching this and I have many more videos coming up and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>